Hello, this is Mrs. Noons. Today I'm going to be going through packet three, week one, discussing the math portion. I want you to take a minute and look at the pictures on the screen and ask yourself, what do you think we will be learning about? I see a yardstick, a ruler using inches, a measuring cup. Excellent, we're going to be talking about measurement. When we measure, we can use standard and non-standard units or measurements. So looking at non-standard units, any item that can be used to measure something, paper clips, blocks, finger spaces, hand spans, feet, are all ways that you can measure in a non-standard unit. It's very important that when you're measuring, using non-standard units, you do it correctly. So how to measure with non-standard units. You must place each unit right up next to the next unit. Do not leave any spaces in between. Begin end and stop at the other end. So here an example of how to do it correctly. I see they started right at the tip of the marker, which is the beginning. They used paper clips, they didn't leave spaces, they didn't overlap, and they stopped right at the end. So we could say this marker is three paper clips long. Now this is an example of how to do it incorrectly. I see that they've left big spaces, it goes past the end. So when you're using non-standard units, it's important to measure correctly. Now, non-standard units can be really helpful to measure things, but they can also cause some problems. Because if I use little paper clips and you use big paper clips, our measurements won't be the same. If you use a new pencil and I use a sharpened pencil, again, our measurements won't be the same. So it's important to understand that there's also standard units of measurement. That means that whoever is doing the measuring, if they're using one of these standard tools, their measurement will be the same as the next person who does it. So standard units are when we use our rulers, our yardsticks, our measuring cups, any of our tools here. Every time we measure, it will be the same because these are all standard units. So we're gonna do a little sorting activity. Standard versus non-standard. So let's just pick a few to sort. So measuring with a crayon, is that a standard measurement where every crayon we use will be the same or non-standard? Non-standard. How about our ruler? Excellent, standard. What about a glue stick? Non-standard. What about measuring the temperature? And we use our thermometer. If I'm using a thermometer and it says that it's 50 degrees out and someone brings out another thermometer, it will say the same temperature. What about our tape measure? Standard, excellent. Let's do one more. How about our pencil? Non-standard. Alrighty, this is something that you can do around your house. You can find three standard ways to measure and three non-standard ways. We can also compare objects using words like longer or shorter, taller or shorter. So when we compare, we look at two or more items and decide which is longer or shorter. So here it says the paper clip is shorter than the stapler, or the stapler is longer than the paper clip. We can also compare height. Looking at these three students, I can say that Bob is shorter than Chris, or Bob is shorter than Chris and Donna. I can also say that Donna is taller than Chris and Bob, or that Chris is shorter than Donna, but taller than Bob. So today, 
we're going to compare objects by length. When we're measuring length, we are seeing how long an object is from end to end. When we measure, we must begin at one end and we measure to the other end of the object. When we compare, we say longer or shorter. So looking at these two groups, I have my first group here and my second group here. Which group of pencils are easier to compare? So are these pencils easier to compare or these? Think about your reason why. Excellent, this group is easier to compare. I have all my erasers lined up here and then I can easily see that my purple pencil is the longest because it's longer than my orange pencil and it's longer than my green. I can also tell that my orange pencil is longer than the green one or the green is shorter than the orange purple. It's very easy to see where the points of the pencils end because they're nicely lined up. When my pencils are going different ways and some are angled and they're kind of all in a big group, it's really hard to compare their lengths. So when comparing, make sure you line them up so that you can easily compare. And again, by lining them up, we can easily tell their length that the crayon is shorter than the pen or the pen is longer than the crayon. I can easily see it's longer because it goes out further. It's shorter because it ends before this one. All right, so I have a little activity and I would love if you said your answer out loud. So here we go. Number one, which pencil is the longest. Which pencil is the longest? Excellent, B. And I can tell because they're all lined up and green comes out the furthest. All right, let's try another one. Number two, which crayon is the shortest? Which crayon is the shortest? Excellent, the yellow crayon, and I can tell, because again, they have them nicely lined up, and I can see that the yellow crayon ends here, and the orange is all the way out here, and purple's all the way over here. Number three. What color crayon is longer than the pink crayon? What color crayon is longer than the pink? So if I go through, well, the pink can't be longer than itself. The blue is shorter than the pink. Green is longer because it comes out further. So see, the green crayon is longer than the pink. Okay, and number four. Which colored pencil is shorter than the orange but longer than the blue? Which colored pencil is shorter than the orange but longer than the blue? Excellent, the red. And I can see because it's longer than the blue because it comes out further, but it's shorter than the orange because it doesn't go out as far. Nice job. All right, now this page you can find in your packet. If you don't have your packet, you can do it on any piece of paper that you have around you. So it says, draw three crayons of different lengths. 
circle the longest. So again, when you're drawing them, you want to try and line them up. You can draw them going this way if you'd like and use this nice dotted line to line them up. So I'm going to do my best to draw three different lengths of crayons. My best effort there, it's hard on here. All right, so that's one. One more. All right, so draw three crayons of different lengths. So I have three crayons, they're all different lengths. Now on your paper, you need to circle the longest crayon. I'm going to circle my longest crayon. And on my paper, my green is my longest because it goes out the furthest. Okay. This paper is also found in your packet. You can look for it by looking for the combs. Okay, number four says, order the combs by length. Circle the sentences. Sorry, complete the sentences. So I'm going to order them. I'm going to start with the shortest and number them up to the longest. So what color would I say is the shortest comb? Excellent. The red one. So I'm going to put a little one there so I remember it's the shortest. And then here's my blue and the orange. So now I kind of have an idea. So now let's complete the sentences. It says, the blank comb is the shortest. So what color was my shortest comb? Red. So I'm going to put in here that the red comb is the shortest. So you can write red. The blank comb is the longest. What color was our longest one? Orange, excellent job. Okay, let's go down to number five. Circle the group of pencils. It shows them in order from longest to shortest. Okay, so that's really important that we're paying attention to that. So longest needs to be at the top all the way to shortest in order. So look at both groups, which one starts with longest and goes to This one, excellent job. I see my longest pencil first, and then they go in order down to my shortest. Number six, draw a blue line that is longer than this line. So here they have, they have line here. Now, if you don't have a blue, you can change it to another color. So I need to draw a blue line that is longer than this line. I'm going to use their starting point here. That will help me make sure that my line is longer. So I'm going to start and then I know if it has to be longer, it has to go past their line. I'll try and keep it nice and straight, a little dragon there. Okay, and now draw a red line that is shorter. Now, if you don't have different colors, you can label it. You can put a little B at the beginning for blue. And then if you didn't have red, you could put R for red. Okay, 
So my red line needs to be shorter than the black line. So again, I'm gonna start on my dotted line. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make sure it ends before the black line. So there's my shorter line. All right, excellent job. As always, keep up the great work. There's so many fun measurement activities that you can do at home. You can try comparing different lengths of items that maybe you have in your bedroom or in the kitchen and really practice using those words, shorter, longer, putting them in order. Excellent job. See you soon.